wants the shares. I don't know. Mmm. 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 <laughs> hey everyone, it's Janet, also known as Nerdy Autism Mom, and it's effing freezing. So we had a nice little snowstorm on Christmas Day, and then right after that, it got effing freezing. So, anyway, I am done did up. Um, and that was simply to do a video for my beauty channel, Nerdy Autism Beauty. Um, and basically I did a time lapse video, so for however long it took for me to do this full face of makeup, the entire video with the after pictures is like one minute and one second long. I think the time lapse itself was like 30 some odd seconds. So, and this is after having the car heat up for a little bit. I'm still shivering. Anyway, um, if you want to watch that video, if you want to check it out, it's just a time lapse. Um, I used some of the music that came with the Viva video app, um, and I chose a nice little metal tune. Um, anyway, if you want to check that out, just go to my Nerdy Autism Beauty channel. Um, I'll probably leave a link in the description as well because I can do that. Uh, so anyway, the boys are with their father. Um, and I am just taking a run down to the grocery store to get them a couple of bag of bags of rice chips because we completely ran out the other day um, so yesterday they pretty much survived on Doritos because Boxing Day in Canada pretty much everything's closed the only thing you're gonna have open would be convenience stores and drug stores and Tim Hortons of course um, but anyway so I went to the Shoppers Drug Mart and the Crispy Minis rice chips were two for five and I'm like, are you kidding me? So uh, the big bags of Doritos were also two for five. So I'm like, okay, I know they're going to eat those. So Doritos it is for now. Um, just a treat. It's not something they consume all the time. So I'm like, well... I'm gonna get more for my money if I get them the Doritos, so I got them the Doritos. <laughs> um, so anyway, I have like a couple of dollars. I'm waiting for this money transfer. So I, I did a money transfer on Friday and it still hasn't gotten into my account yet. Um, which is so silly because Saturday was not a holiday. And I've had money go into my account on a Saturday before, but apparently it wants to wait and it'll probably get in there tonight. So chances are I'm going to have to come back down here again tonight anyway, but I at least want to make sure, um, I at least want to make sure I have some rice chips for them for when they get home. <laughs> So yeah, that's always fun. So I'm just gonna park right in here. Cause I can. Oh, that's my beauty. Just had to talk to her for a sec. She's a regular customer. I think I spoke about her before. Um, she's always doing her makeup. Anyway, um, I just wanted to let her know about stuff going on. But the, yeah, I'm just gonna pull this way. I'm too close to that car. Anyway, um, yeah, she wants to, uh, she probably, wow, there's a parking job. <laughs> um, she probably lost the website. But anyway, 
complimented my makeup, said I look like a rock star or something. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so anyway, she's such a sweetheart, very lovely woman. Always has her makeup done, just lovely. So, anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the money transfer. Um, it, it didn't happen yet, so I'm hoping it'll go in tonight so I can come back down and get the boys their juices, but they at least have to have their rice chips so they have something to eat. Um, thankfully, Leander still has his hot dogs and his popcorn, stuff like that, but Ryu pretty much has nothing, so <laughs> at least with two bags of rice chips, that's a good thing, so I'm gonna go inside! Oh my god, that is so cool! Oh, I anyway, got what I needed and I went to put it on my debit and it got declined and I'm like, wait, what? And then I'm like, oh, I have change oh, and I'm already buckled up. Oh, brr. I hate winter. I really, really severely hate winter. It is the worst time of the year, and it is the longest season of the year. It's just awful. Oh, anyway, how was everybody's Christmas? Um, we had a pretty decent one. It was storming. Um, the kid's father still figured that it would be okay to walk them up the street in a snowstorm. But I mean, whatever, it's just up the street. Um, but at least he was decent enough to get a drive home. <sighs> um, but anyway. Uh, the kids got some jackets from him, which were likely paid for by somebody else, probably his mother. Um, and then he said something about getting Ryu a new pair of boots, because I'd mentioned it to him before. I mentioned that he needed new boots, but I went out and got them. But then he mentioned it to me, and then I'm like, I already got them. That's why he's not limping anymore. And then when I went to go put their boots on them today... I realized that he had mixed up their boots and he had Ryu wearing Leander's boots and I'm like, well no wonder he thinks the kid still needs new boots because he was an idiot and he mixed them up. <laughs> anyway, other than that the kids had a really good Christmas. Um, Leander is constantly walking around with all of his Pocoyo plushies huddled right up to his chest along with his blue blankie. It's so super cute. I love it. And uh, Ryu has been really getting a kick out of his fart blaster. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, Leander had picked out um, a puzzle of the map of Canada and it's got to be old. Like probably pre-1999 kind of old because none of it is not on that uh, map <laughs> but anyway uh, he got that for Ryu but uh, he's been playing with it he's the one who's been playing with it so that's kind of cute um, and uh, oh he picked out a mug for mommy. It's a cute little Christmas mug with a bear on it and it's huge so I can have a huge cup of tea. Yes! Like as soon as I opened that up, that was, I made my tea and I'm like, I need to drink my tea out of this because that's so sweet. Um, he got my friend uh, the Hulk movie, two disc DVD, um, which I think that's hilarious and strangely fitting. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the one with uh, the Hulk played by Eric Bana, which I, I liked that. I liked it. I liked it. Anyway, so that's, that's what he got for my friend. And uh, he got Uncle Bean, uh, a little mouse pad and coaster set with puppies on it. So that was super cute. Um, so yeah, that was sweet. And the two of them are having a bit of fun. They got a... Um, and Michelangelo 
Ninja Turtle and you know, squeeze his stomach and his tongue and his eyeballs bug out and he makes a lot of rude noises. Love it! And of course it's Mikey, so of course for me it's off my heart because he's my favorite turtle. Love Mikey to death. Um, so that's super, super cute. They've been enjoying that. Um, I didn't get the kitty cats anything. I wanted to get them another bag of catnip or something, but no big whoop. They've been enjoying the tree. Uh, so Christmas for us was pretty good. I'm enjoying, this is my third day off. I'm back to work tomorrow. And I, thanks to the holidays and all that, and thanks to tomorrow being Thursday, um, I was able to accept a little bit more of a shift. So I was scheduled for the 7 to 12, and then my boss texted me earlier today and asked if I could do smoke shop until 3, and I love working smoke shop because it's so quiet, and I can sit, and I just basically, you know, like, it's so easy peasy, like, it's way easier on the body. Um, normally the shifts in the smoke shop are 11 in the morning until seven in the evening um but she asked me to do 11 until three so that's awesome so i'm gonna do seven to 11 on cash and then i'm going to do 11 until three in the smoke shop and see i can eat out there too which is great so i don't even need to take like a half hour um, lunch or anything because I can actually eat something in there um, so generally smoke shop shifts they don't force them to take a half hour which is really nice because it's an unpaid half hour well in the smoke shop they just pay them right straight through because they can eat out there so that's awesome so that's that's nice get me a few extra hours I can handle that <laughs> So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm pretty pumped. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, tell me how your Christmas went. How's your holidays going? Uh, I know in the States you guys don't have Boxing Day. Um, I'm pretty sure UK and Australia, I think, have Boxing Day as well as Canada, which is nice because it is another paid holiday. So I am totally cool with that. Um, it's definitely like I know for Easter we get paid for Good Friday but we don't get paid for Easter Sunday and the reason being I'm assuming is because um, ever since like when stores weren't open on Sundays which was definitely not yesterday the government hasn't changed anything about um, that being part of a paid holiday or not um, because for us in the retail business we're closed on Easter Sunday and we're open Monday um, but of course you know government places and you know banks and stuff like that they get to be closed for the Good Friday, the Saturday, the Easter Sunday, and the Easter Monday, and they get paid for it. So anyway, it's nice to be able to get paid for Christmas Day and Boxing Day. That's a big help for someone like me. And then to be called in for a few extra hours as well is going to be a huge help. So anyway, it's five o'clock now. I am just waiting for that last hour before my babies come home. I'm excited to see, I, I miss them when they're gone. I always do, it doesn't even matter. If I'm at work, I miss them. If they're at school and I'm at home, if they're with their father, it doesn't matter. If they're away from me, I miss them. And I want my babies around me. <laughs> And uh, they've been having a lot of fun playing too, like um, Ryu's got this, well, it's, it's, I got it for Leander initially. I think I found it at a thrift store and it's one of those bouncy balls with the handle on it that they sit on and they bounce on it. Anyway, Ryu's been having a blast with that the last few days, but he won't bounce himself on it. He needs me to bounce him on it. <laughs> So he holds on to the handle and then I take him under his little armpits and I start bouncing him and he just gets a huge kick out of it. So 
they've been having a fun holiday for sure and uh, having those Pocoyo plushies has actually helped Leander a little bit with bedtime as well. Um, he still kind of whines and cries a little but it's not it's not as bad as what it normally has been um, before the Pocoyo plushies so normally he would scream and cry and he'd get up and bang the door a few times but he hasn't been doing that the last couple of nights ever since he got his Pocoyo plushies so that's awesome I'm hoping that that will keep up because I hate to see him be so upset at bedtime well anytime really but I mean at bedtime when I can only console him so much before I have to be like okay buddy you know what mommy's got to leave you so you can go to sleep so it's nice and he brings all four of them up with him and he's got them right cuddled in and he tucks them in with him so super super sweet so that's been helping him which is awesome so anyway I am just going to go back inside and wait for my babies to come home okay so I drove up to go pick up the kids because it's really really cold outside and I didn't want them walking down the hill and that so I went down or I went up to pick them up and by like five after six they didn't come out of the building so I'm like WTF so then I come back down to the house and I check uh, both phones and there's nothing so I'm trying to text him and it's just not working out anyway and then um, I hear a sound and I go look out the window and there they are getting out of a car at like 10 after 6 um, I know a lot of people will be like oh it's only 10 minutes I don't care he shouldn't have them more than what he is obliged to apparently by court because he is an abuser so they were 10 minutes late. He says he sent me a text. I said, I didn't get it. And um, he, you know, with that stupid narcissistic grin on his face. Well, I, I can show you I sent you a text. Oh, well, I didn't get it. You know, like if you're going to take my kids somewhere, tell me when you take them out of my care. Give me the courtesy that you're gonna, that, that you can tell me that you're taking them somewhere so I know what to expect. You know, like you don't just take them somewhere without my knowledge and then bring them home late. Like that's stupid, you don't, you don't do that. You don't do that. But apparently he can because the courts say he can, so. I'm a little miffed right now. Plus, of course, I don't want to forget the fact that he had um, listed himself as Ryu's primary contact um, when Ryu first started at his new school. So that doesn't make me feel any better at all. So, you know, you can't just say, oh, maybe she's just paranoid. No, like when he's pulling things like listing himself as primary contact, um, at the new school and then I have to tell them no he's not the primary contact like that you know what's next is he going to take the kids out of the province and then attempt to send me a text later and say oh yeah no that's that's not no it's no not at all so that will definitely have to be something that I bring up to somebody because that's not right. That is absolutely unacceptable. You don't, you, you can't do that. He just can't do that. So just saying. Got your hot dogs and your pato and your puzzle. Is pato your favorite? Uh, oh, here's Pocoyo. Pato is your favorite. Yeah. You squeak, Pato? Oh my goodness, how many pieces of hot dog did you just shove in your mouth? You squeak, Pato? Pato goes. <gasps> Pato goes. Yay! 
Mm. You squeak, Petto? Picture puzzle. Picture puzzle. What a good boy eating your hot dogs. Hi, Boo Bear. <gasps> you watching Om Nom? Mm -hmm. Om Nom. Om Nom's great. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Look at that. 1992. No, none of it on there because none of it was not introduced as one of the Canadian territories until 1999. Which is still before your time. You got your pato? You're missing a piece. Yeah. <laughs> 1992! Even says Newfoundland, not Newfoundland and Labrador, so that's something too. Yeah. Still cute though. Just came out of your butt. What just came out of your butt? Okay, so end of the night, I went to change Leander's poopy bum, mm. and uh, he started shaking really badly, like it, it was visible mm. shaking. So add that on to the 10 minutes late and him not telling me where they were. Um, that really freaks me out. So um, someone will definitely be told about that. Um, I am not keen on that at all. Like, <gasps> I mean, Leander was kind of acting off and on since he got home anyway. You just punched me in the eye. You just punched me in the eye. <laughs> Um, but then to have him shaking like that, Belly bone. to have him shaking like that just for his usual bum change, which happens multiple times a day because that kid is just constantly, Belly bone. constantly pooping. Um, that really freaks me out. Oh, belly bone? Yeah. Belly, 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 Tickle the belly! <laughs> Ryu seems fine, but to have Leander shaking like that really freaks me out. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I got your armpit! I got your armpit! <laughs> so anyway, we'll see how all well that goes. I go see Kelly on the 2nd, so I'll definitely be letting her know. <laughs> Favorite thing in the world is tickles. Yeah. Are we in space? Yes. Yes. How are we? Belly bone. <laughs> Say again. Say again. Belly bone. Belly bone. Yes. <laughs>